day. A very warm greeting to each one of you. I am Ayana Shaina Tipan Lasan, Master of today's ceremony. Everything in the world has changed as a result of the pandemic, from our typical way of life to big event celebration. We've suddenly shifted to a new normal. This hasn't been an easy period, but one thing we've learned is that no crisis or life antagonist can stop us from continuing our professional development and progress. On this day, we celebrate our enthusiasm, devotion, and resilience in moving forward in life. We, at Art of Angels Academy Laguna Incorporated, proudly presents Third Virtual Moving Up Ceremony School Year 2021 to 2022. Anchored with a team of K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. To start with today's program, let us welcome the administrators and faculty. Teachers from Elementary Department Ms. Carmela Joyce G. Dalavid, Grade 1, 2, and 3 Advisor Ms. Ayana Shaira Tiban Lasan, Grade 4, 5, and 6 Advisor Teachers from High School Department Mr. Herman J. Laton, Grade 7 Advisor Ms. Ashley M. Gelly, Grade 8 Advisor Ms. Rosie S. Odper, Grade 9 Advisor Ms. Princess Joy T. Banut, Grade 10 Advisor Ms. Margie G. Lobos, our school head. And to our Chief Education Officer, Mr. Candido M. Magnaya Jr., Maed. And now, let us all welcome the graduates and completers for the school year 2021-2022. Students from Grade 6 or Yale.
Mga Kababayan, ang Pambansang Awit ng Pilipinas. opposite of success, it is a part of it. What a prosperous day it is indeed, a greeting to each and every one. First, I would like to give my regards to our dearest schools, to its wonderful and diligent department heads, teachers, and staffs who earnestly and lovingly guided these students throughout this past academic year. Your dedication to your jobs bear fruit as these young students successfully made it here today. With their sweet and prideful smile, let us thank our teachers. Second, I wanted to praise all the family members and friends who joined us in this marvelous day. I know that most of you has jobs and yet you were able to make it in this moment to see your child move to the next level of their lives. And of course, to our young aspirants, our graduating grade 6 students ready for their high school journey, and to our grade 10 students who are entering their senior high school, are you ready for the next step? I wish you all are, and thank you for being with us today, which meant that you overcome the past school year. Gently pat your shoulders because we are all proud of you. Last but not the least, to the Lord Almighty who guided these teachers, staffs, parents, and the graduating students, thank you for giving them the courage to go on. Hello Batch 2021-2022, thank you for being with us today. Now that I have welcomed each and every one that has gathered with us today, let me just reminisce the past that I know Bruce many of our enthusiastic students. I know that the children that are with us today will barely understand what I am saying. So, I will direct this to their parents who, as we all know, also went back to being students during this academic year amidst pandemic. To the parents, how are you doing? I know it was tough answering the module of your children, kidding aside. I know it is hard to be a parent that has to work for their children and also monitor them in their online classes. More than anyone, my dear parents, deserve an applause. Thank you for your endless love and support to these passionate children. I know that you must be very proud to be with them today. And to my junior high school students that barely need parental advices from the previous academic year, I know that sometimes you all burdened yourself. Almost buried by the immense pressure, I am proud of you. I am proud that you persevered. I understand the burden of the students who eagerly pursue their studies amidst pandemic. Sometimes, I can even see your social media shared posts about wanting to give up. But now, look where you are. Parents, let us take this moment to be proud with our children. 
They sought the strength they needed and now they are with us today. You fought well and do not be discouraged. Our school will always be open to each mind pursuing knowledge. Congratulations to all of you. But before I end my speech, let me give a simple message to the youths. During this challenging time of pandemic and academic burden, everyone encountered lots of fall and breakdowns. I know, at some point, you were convinced that it was your dead end, that you were a failure. However, before this phase ends, I will argue otherwise. Failure is not the opposite of success. You can only enjoy success because you know what it feels like to fail. So let your failures be the stepping stone to your hundred more successes. And celebrate today because you all succeeded. And remember, never to quit. Keep on walking the path you truly desire for small steps are still progress. And one day, you will be wherever you want to be. Stand proud, my dear students. Our school will be forever grateful for having you. Thank you, and may be the odds be in our favor. Again, congratulations, batch of 2021-2022. Thank you, Mr. Candido and Magnaya Jr. for your fruitful welcome message. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, let us all witness the most awaiting aspect of this virtual ceremony, the candidates for graduation and moving up. Students from grade 6 or Yale, composed of 7 boys and 2 girls with a total of 9. While the grade 10 Abriel, composed of 13 boys and 8 girls with a total of 21 students. Grade 6 or Yale. Bascruz Gian Carlo L. The Lemos Rafael Rigel G. With honors. Mosquera John Andre M. Pampang Felix Reulino T. Rizal Brenick R. With honors. Rosales Oriel Gabriel A. Tolentino Angelo C. Almendrana Annika Faith D. Unita Princess Sara P. Great Ten Ambria. Badanoy Beans Alter X. Cathedralia Mark Angel P. Mm -hmm. 
Studio Carmichael A. Depadwa Jan J B. Gonzaga Suji Matthew Hernandez Lloyd Eric D. Ibias Paul Gabriel M. Mansanilia Brixter Joseph G. Maranan John Cedric B. Martinez Mark Joseph S. Petate Stewart B. Santos Adrian Jan O. Versola Hans Chariel G. Amasho Jaila Krisha H. Batao Avery Jill B. Fernandez Sheena F. Gonzaga Paula Marie A. Kelisa Daphne D. Tatoy Eliza Jane O. Excellence Effort Awardee. Torre Palma Poli Nicole B. Excellence Effort Awardee. Villanueva Antoinette Shane B. And by the authority vested in our school head, 
Ms. Marjorie G. Lobos will now confirm the number of graduates and completers. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Department of Education, the total of nine for the elementary, seven boys and two girls, 21 for the completers, 13 boys and 8 girls, that you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the K-12 curriculum. I now accept and confirm you graduate for the school year 2021-2022. Congratulations to you and your proud parents. Thank you, Ms. Margie Lobos, for confirming our graduates and competitors. Now, let us hear the words of gratitude from a grade 6 student, Brennick R. Rizal. To my guardian, Mama Lani and Papa Istong, who are all beside me since my first day in school. I share with you my first taste of victory. There will be more years of struggle, but I confident that we will triumph because I have a guardian like you. I cannot give financial or material things at this point. I can only give the joy, happiness, and respect that you deserve. Thank you for being responsible, Lolo and Lola. I know your sacrifices you made and struggled in reading me. Thank you, Berry, Mama, and Papa. To this, I am very thankful to Mommy and to Mommy Pichi and Daddy Omar who raised me. I have witnessed your sac sacrifices and struggle in reading me. Mommy and Daddy, thank you very much. Elementary school life is the first step in our ladder of success. We do not know what will happen next, but if we have an aim, a goal, it will make our dreams come true. We need to continue studying and make this a place of the new generation. Let's make a goodbye to ourselves. Hello to the new, but always remember, be empowered and productive. My dear co-graduates, thank you for all the good friendship and brotherhood. Always remember, we are God news. My fellow graduates, once again, thank you and congratulations. Mabuhay! Thank you for your heartwarming message, Brennick. Now, let us hear the words of gratitude from the grade 10 students. To start with, Polly Nicole Pito Repama, followed by Eliza Jane O. Tatoy. To our beloved school director, Mr. Candido Magnani Jr., our hard-working school head, Ms. Margie Lobos, dedicated school registrar, Mr. Herman Laton, indefatigable teachers and staff, proud parents, fellow graduates, honor students, guests, and our online viewers, a blessed day to all of you. It is indeed without a doubt that this and the preceding school year have been unlike anything we've ever experienced before. Our usual face-to-face -face activities and interactions have been thrown into disarray. This global outbreak has severely affected everyone, from strict protocols, a sudden switch to online learning, to livelihoods being closed off. I can still vividly remember the chaos that took place in our group chat when the national government announced a two-week suspension of class due to the global outbreak. We're all rejoicing and planning what we'll do in those two weeks without knowing that eventually it will turn into two years isolation in our home. It's been more than two years already since the first ever lockdown occurred. We went from making Dalgona coffee, learning TikTok dances, sharing memes on Facebook, to adjusting to our new setup, which is the new normal. Though we had all the time in this world when the lockdown happened, it also made us realize a lot of things. One of the greatest lessons I've learned over the course of this pandemic is that life is too short to dwell on the what-ifs and missed-out opportunities. 
I'm pretty sure we're all aware of how we took a lot of things for granted. They hang out with friends after school, especially the Librihan and Bura Utan sa main road in Blackton, Chikahan during lunch break, Lok Sung Baka every pee time, and of course, the hingi and ang snacks while having a lesson. Who would have thought that the famous saying, high school life is the best life, won't apply in our case due to the fact that we spent half of our junior high school journey coercively learning by means of Google and Zoom meetings. We used to hope every weekend that classes will be suspended on Monday just because we need to attend school earlier than the usual because of the flag ceremony. And now, isn't it ironic how we're all praying and hoping that those days will come back? We were robbed of a lot of things. We miss a lot of opportunities and even the chances to make more memories together. I'm certain that this was not how we envisioned our last two years in high school would be. It is indeed unfortunate that we miss out on a lot of our firsts and last. Our first and last prom, first time to experience safety, last youth come together, and even our last field trip. Looking back, we were all excited to experience how was it like to become a COCC to the point where every break time, we would all copy what they're doing like the bunch of idiots we are. Our advisor even got mad one time and deducted 10 points from our MAPI exam. Oh, how I miss those good old days. As the time passed by, we created a bond with each other without us knowing it. However, everything vanished in a blink of an eye, mainly because of the unexpected occurrence of this global pandemic. Back in 6th grade, I was also assigned to deliver a graduation speech. And as far as I can remember, I never really got to express what I really want to say during that time since I'm not that confident enough before. So all the puddled up feelings are starting to resurface again. I don't want to just keep on talking about our life during this pandemic. However, I have no choice but to voice everything out since we didn't get to experience how is it like to live as a normal junior high school teenagers. The past two years of learning remotely felt like 10 long, dreadful years. Up to this date, we're still adjusting and having a hard time with this kind of setup. Before, an hour duration of time to finish an activity is already enough for us. But now, even a day isn't enough to accomplish a mere task. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I can literally tell that my productive and motivated self is suddenly nowhere to be found ever since we started doing online classes. The pressure that we felt before have been doubled and we're all stressed out to the point we just want to give up sometimes. As a consistent owner student, I found myself feeling uncertain most of the time knowing for a fact that I don't have any idea what the future holds for me. I used to be so confident with every academic related thing I do. Nevertheless, I still found myself doubting my abilities for various reasons, mainly the fear of not being able to meet all the expectations that people around me have set. That makes me think of a quote that Namjoon, the leader of BTS, has said. It goes like this, I think that there's no need to live your life based on the standard of others. Everyone says, dream big. But I don't think you have to live so fiercely like that all the time. I suddenly come to, into my senses and realize a lot of things. Most of us have been living through the expectations and standards that the society and people around us have set. It saddens me due to the fact that while we're all having a hard time meeting those expectations, we didn't realize how it already took a big toll on us, especially on our mental health. This toxic culture have instilled an unhealthy way of thinking to most of us, making us think that we always have to aim for the top spot, that small achievements won't matter and doesn't deserve a celebration just because it's not the biggest one. I know that most of us must have felt appalled and frustrated with the predicament we are in right now. Some even went through a burnout because we can't really deny the fact that this mode of learning requires more energy and time compared to face-to-face -face classes. But here we are today. We've managed to accomplish every activities we need to submit and conquer all the challenges we've encountered. All of our hard work have been paid off, leading us to where we are right now. 
proud is an understatement to show my appreciation for the efforts of all exerted just to be here today. Another chapter of our life has come to an end. However, it doesn't mean that our journey will also end here. We might part ways after this, but I'm genuinely wishing each one of you a bright future ahead. Today, fellow graduates, I wanted to congratulate all of us for surviving this one-of-a-kind school year. Go give yourself a pat on the back because you truly deserve it after everything we've been through. Graduates of not only Batch 2022, but also Batch 2020 and 2021, you have my utmost admiration for the strength and dedication you have shown to get through this uncertain time. I also want to take this opportunity to say a quick thank you to my best friends and online friends. You guys know who you are already. Thank you for making the past two years of learning in front of these electronic gadgets more bearable. Also, let's make a use of this moment to show gratitude to those people who were there for us since day one. Especially our parents who witnessed every ups and downs in all our endeavors. And as I end this speech of mine, allow me to thank my greatest inspirations. To my mother, my siblings, Lala and Lalas, thank you for your unconditional love and support. Thank you for always believing in me when no one else did. Words are not enough to express how grateful I am to have you in my life. Above all, thank you Lord Jesus for another fruitful school year and for the gift of wisdom you have bestowed upon us. If it weren't for your grace, we wouldn't be celebrating today. While another chapter of our life has come to an end, a new one slowly begins. I know that the future might seem unpropitious and overwhelming, but always remember the reason why you are doing this in the first place. If any of you feels lost in the face of uncertainty or the pressure of starting anew, don't rush. Take a deep breath. You may find that any moment can be turned into an opportunity. Wherever the road may take you, never forget that your courage, love, and faith in God everything is possible once again congratulations batch 2021 to 2022 have a blessed day ahead thank you to our beloved school director mr candido M. Magnaya jr to our school head miss margie g lobos to our school registrar, Mr. Herman J. Laton, who has guided me since preschool. To our hardworking teachers and especially to our goal-driven and dedicated advisor, Ms. Princess Joy T. Banut. To my fellow graduates, honored guests, schoolmates, parents, and viewers, ladies and gentlemen, good day to all of you. Four years ago, as I stepped up from high school, this isn't how I pictured leaving the doors of my alma mater would be. I've always envisioned getting our medals and certificates on the stage handed by our school head. I've always imagined we would wear our uniform, sing our graduation song, and sit together as our name gets called on the stage, and bid our goodbyes face to face once the event finishes. It was exactly March 13, 2020, Friday, the last real life classroom set up, last face to face interaction with friends, peers, and teachers until the global outbreak conquered the world. It was completely devastating. Communities, businesses, and livelihoods were closed off, classes were suspended, and COVID cases were rapidly increasing. It all deterred us from freely enjoying our high school life. The scampering noise on the container at the long table during lunch and recess, Christmas parties, Foundation Day, youth camps, Valentine's Day, and never had the chance to experience being a CAT officer and our first and last JS prom. As I was scrolling through my newsfeed on Facebook last June 2020, online classes memes were timely that time, so I realized it would be easier if classes were performed online. You know, we don't have to walk to school every morning, we can wear anything we want during classes, except for when it is required to open our cameras. As days pass by, it's when I realize 
Uh, online class is tiring and not a conducive space for learning. We need to be on our phone or laptop all day for the class. We aren't even sure if we are learning the lesson the right way. There are dubs, adversity, and hardships throughout this predicament. Unlike face-to-face -face classes when we get to share all our frustrations with our friends and classmates. Online class enabled us to experience having breakdowns 24-7. We experienced saving a TikTok video about how difficult online class is and post it on our Facebook story and flood our private Twitter account with our rants. It is without a doubt that this global pandemic brought us into a grave layer. And if there's one thing I've learned throughout this circumstance, it is that in a difficult situation amidst a battle, we shouldn't drown ourselves into thinking we can't do what we want to do. Especially we're in a crisis, everything would seem so discouraging. But despite that, we should be resilient by not letting ourselves give into the frustration and pressure we feel. Other than dwelling on the things that make us suffer more, we should try other things to divert our attention to. For me, I tried a lot of things that aroused my interest, like drawing, reading, singing, watching movies, and writing stories. There's so much to do despite the unconventional year we all had. This adversity we're currently facing shouldn't hinder us from juggling, discovering new things, and deter us from pursuing our dreams. Even though life may seem hard at times, life's too long to be miserable. Get up, chase that dream. Walk on stiff mountains if needed, swim in oceans, climb the tallest cliff, do whatever it takes to make the day the day it starts getting better. To my classmates, congratulations to all of us. We've finally made it. All our hard work has paid off and we're all ready to take the next important step in our lives. I am honored to speak here today and reflect on our school's collaborative experience. The past year has been challenging, but now we're all here to celebrate our accomplishments and know that we are all preparing for our next destinations. So dear class of 2022, our story doesn't end up here. We still have a long way to walk and I wish the best in each and all of you. Now, it's time to take what we've lived and learned here to the future we would create. To our teachers who helped us become the better version of ourselves, and to our advisor, Miss Princess Joy T. Banut, thank you for looking out for us and trying your best that we all learned and cultivated our minds despite this unpredictable and tough school year we all had. I would also like to thank my parents. Thank you for guiding me and shaping me to the person I am today, for providing and supporting me all throughout. And I also thank my friends for helping me whenever I need a hand and for being my anchor in this journey. As you close the tabs on your computer or on your mobile devices here today, you should be proud of what you've done and look forward to how you, too, might serve as an inspiration and light to others. Congratulations to all of us! Thank you! and Eliza for that meaningful and insightful speech. Your attitude toward education can inspire other students and make them have an idea on how to take charge of their own educational journey. At this point, let us acknowledge Mark Angel P. Catedrilla from Great 10 Ambriel for the Pledge of Loyalty. Let us raise our right hand and repeat after me. I, Mark Angel P. Catedrilla, I promise with all my heart that I will honor my beloved alma mater, Ark of Angels Academy. I solemnly swear that I will do my best to live up to its noble ideas and expectations and to live honorably so I may be able to use properly and intelligently all I have learned from this school to serve God, my country, and my fellow men. So help me God. Thank you, Mark Angel, for leading the Pledge of Loyalty. To reminisce the past events and memories of the students in Art of Angels Academy, as well as the tribute to the parents, let us watch and enjoy the compilation of results.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we close the ceremonies, I'd like to take this last opportunity to say, on behalf of the faculty, staff, 
an administration of Ark of Angels Academy. Congratulations, both the graduates and the parents. Graduates of the class 2022, I am happy that your journey has to end to face new challenges in your lives. Your parents must have been proud of you. Your journey must have been full of memories as you embark on your dreams for your future. As you move on to the new school year, let us be resilient, understanding, and bear positive minds that we will all surpass this health crisis together with our prayers. As the end of academic year 2021-2022, once again, good afternoon and congratulations.